Oh, this is repulsive. It tastes like. Right. <clears throat> what was that? I said it tasted like shite. They all do. Who buys yucky chocolates as a Valentine? I wouldn't know. So are these off. What's her name? Chantal? No. I've had to let her go. I'm all good times, clubs, living it, yeah? She's more like farms. So, you've got a mystery admirer? Five? I got three cards, two, and a sheep? Not a real one. No. MC Sheep. He's dressed up as a rapper, and when you squeeze him, he goes, I'm bad. Smashing it. I can't think who sent him. All the cards, all those yakky chocolates. What about you? Me? What makes you think How I... many cards did you get? Oh, uh, you know, none. Was you expecting one? Not expecting one, no. More wondering. Hoping, maybe. Well, wishing. Yeah, wishing. But I wasn't expecting one, no. Gotcha. Ow! Clem, what are you doing? Eh? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Come on, Robin, that shop. Uh-huh. And you wouldn't understand electric shit. I'll have to go and get more kit. Hello, stranger. Oh, I might have known you'd still be in here. I knew you wouldn't have given up. I could, if I wanted to. So, did you miss me? When? Well, I was away. To have my baby. Don't you remember? We had that baby shower. The lads from Packing dressed up as a Supreme sang Baby Love. The fourth floor gave me that super duper buggy. We were laughing. Because little Tina Swanson could fit in it. We pushed her down the corridor. She fell out and broke her collarbone. Ben from the post room showed us all his bum. Oh, yeah, Ben's ass. And I bought you that... Card. Card. Yeah. So, uh, how is the baby? Oh, he's gorgeous. And has he got all of his arms and legs? Yes. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> it's quite a difficult birth, though. I ripped all the way round. I've got some pictures. Oh, God, no thanks. Oh, chocolate. They're not for you. Keith's been bombarding me with Valentines. You see, he and his first wife were without issue, so... I've had three dozen red roses, champagne, type wine. Oh, how nice for you. Two cards, one from Keith and one from little baby Dane. I mean, I know, strictly speaking, that's two from Keith, but... Right. It's been the happiest Valentines of my life. Ever. Did you get anything? No. Barry! I'm back! Where have you been? Having my baby. Would you like to see some pictures of him? Would you mind very much if I said no? It's just... I've got no interest. At all. Just tell me this, Barry. Do you know any contract killers? Um, no. Sorry. Uh, my brother's a carpet fitter. No use to me. I'm fully laminated. I like the way you assume Barry's the only one with glamorous underworld connections. Why? Do you know any hitmen? No. Because if you did, I'd stump up to have that Yvonne taken out. 
Oh, she's loving being the only married woman in our office. Oh, girls, have you seen my bouquet? She'd see my foot in her face if I had my way. Oh, Lillian, some of us are just lucky in love. You mustn't resent our happiness. Didn't you used to work here? I still do. I've only been away to have a baby. I've got pictures. No, no. I'd hate to seem jealous of your lovely family setup. Didn't you get any Valentines, Lillian? No, I wasn't expecting any. <sighs> Didn't get one during 27 years of marriage. Unless you count the year he whittled how about it in the snow. No, I don't care. It's all just to consummate your part with your cash. Like children in need. Auschwitz. O W what? A U. What do you want? That's how Auschwitz begins. A U. Oh. And ends? With a Z. And in the middle? It's A U S C H W I T Z. You sure there's not another letter in there somewhere? Positive. What's the clue? Camp. Ten letters. Might it be effeminate? Oh. Yes. Don't worry, Lillian. Robin didn't get Valentine either. And I don't suppose Barry did. I've been inundated, but... <laughs> and someone got those chocolates. <gasps> chocolates. Yeah, they were for Clint. Oh. They're not particularly appetising. In fact, they're putrid. Oh, thank God. Keith bought me some lovely chocolates. They were brown. Hang on a moment. Clint. Yep. I've got a bone to pick with you. How do you mean, a bone? These chocolates, were they actually addressed to you? No, they were just on the table, but they are so for me. I mean, read the card. Yeah, I have done. It says, to the world's most sexiest smoker. From the world's least literate admirer. Oh, well, let's have a gander. What are you saying, man? It isn't most sexiest, is it? It's just sexiest. Now, don't be picky. They think I'm the most sexiest? No, wait. It says sexist. To the world's most sexist smoker. Does it? Why would you send someone chocolates if you thought they was a sexist? I wouldn't. Robin did say they were putrid. Clint, they obviously just can't spell, bless them. For a start, there's no E in world. I'm glad they're not for me. Who wants yakky chocolates for my valentine? Eh? Maybe they're for me. Well, there's nothing to say they're for a fella. In fact, that is quite manly writing. Do you think so? Mm. They were left by a man. For someone who he knows is always in here. But I'm not always in here. I just pop in now and then. Ooh, do you know? I'm touched. Wonder who could have sent me them. Why has no one considered the possibility that they might be for me? Don't worry. You're not a sexist. I might be. Hey, it might be the man who brings in the water. His wife's been in hospice for years. Perhaps he's finally back on the market. Sorry, Lillian, but I don't think they are for you. Who, then? You? Who from? Um, well... All right. God, they really are foul. Is everyone in here signed Ben's engagement card? Post room, Ben? Yes. He got engaged this morning. So romantic on Valentine's Day. Is he out of his mind? Well, it is a little bit tacky, but... Engaged? So, have you signed it all? Yes. Yeah. Wished him better luck than I had. I haven't signed it, Janet. Is that Clint? Oh, he knows my voice, doesn't he? He knows my voice. He's not a parakeet. It's too big to pass up to you. You'll have to come down. No, nope. looks like these were for you after all, Lillian. Tuck in. Oh. Oh, they've all been half chewed. Not very romantic. Can't believe he's getting married. I've told him so many times, you're too young. Oh, you do daft things when you're young. I had a Farrah Fawcett flick. Don't throw your life away, I told him. You're making a total ass of yourself. Would he listen? I mean, what kind of friendship is that? It'll all end in tears. Well, at least he can say he's done it. I still think of it as something I've ticked off the list. I've walked the Great North Walk, met Sir Paul McCartney, been married for a bit. 
Oh, Barry. Have you met Paul McCartney? Yeah. Uh, I stood behind him in the queue at Harrods Food Hall. Yeah. I nudged him and said, Hey, Macca, who's the fool on the till? <laughs> what did he say to that? And he just went... Oh, no way. Len's put congratulations. I was going to put that. So exciting for Ben. My wedding day was the happiest day of my life. Next little dame being born, of course. Although I did nearly die then, which put a slight dampener on it. Gordon's put congratulations too. I lost so much blood, I floated right out of my body, down a long tunnel of light, and at the end stood Buddha with Jesus and Cinderella. And I heard a voice saying, no, not her, send her back. And I returned to my body just as little Dane slid out. Everyone's congratulating him. But my wedding day was perfect. Oh, I thought mine was at the time. <laughs> Greg looked so moved when I joined him at the altar. Misty eyed. Turned out he'd knocked back two bottles of brandy. I love to see couples getting together. I'm with you there, Jam. I got this DVD, yeah? Not in that way. Romantically. I'm just an old softy at heart. He must have been pissed. He's only been with her for three years. I can't believe it. When you know someone's meant for you. Yeah, I'd love to know why Pamela was meant for me. I'll just have to look like I'm copying. I knew I'd marry Keith as soon as we met. I used to practice my new signature over and over before we'd even had a first date. Heidi O Connell. Heidi O Connell. Heidi O Connell. Heidi O Connell. Heidi O. Yeah, we get the picture. Parky's from Yorkshire, isn't he? Um, yeah. And has he ever murdered anyone? Well, if he has, it's been very well covered up. Mm. I can't imagine life without Keith now. Is that what you're all supposed to be, isn't it? Married with a baby. Really? Who knows? Maybe it'll be second time lucky for me. Mm. Were you very depressed when your first husband left you? I left him. He was a... Cocksucker. No, alcoholic. Oh. Well, I can't stay any longer. Oh. Keith arranged for a cheeky cherubogram to come by and pledge his love to me. Keith's not the cherubs. They're well vicious birds, you know. Oh, they're not. They are. They are sex mad, yeah? Front way, back way, every kind of way. And a guy bird will happily peck another guy bird to death over a bird bird. Well, these are little love doves. Don't matter. They are still sex crazed psychopaths. Of course. It's Peter Sutcliffe. Are you going to sign it then, Robin? You've got to be joking. Don't you want to congratulate your friend? What, on making the biggest mistake of his life? Or second biggest? That Buzz Lightyear tattoo's a disgrace. Well, just put best wishes, Robin. Leave it emotionless, like Mr Spock. You'd regret it if you didn't. <laughs>